Welcome to the Power of God 100. Now this morning I had a dream that the Lord wants me to um, give you this message. And uh, it's 1 Timothy 4.1. And it says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now right now, all over the United States, there are so-called churches uh, which are really cults and even blaspheming the Holy Spirit so going under the guise of Holy Spirit filled churches and they are actually cults and they are and there are ministers of the devil uh, false apostles you could call them workers of sin as the the uh, pastors which are really cult leaders practicing a form of mind control which amounts to witchcraft on you and there's m many other ones on YouTube that expose these false churches and these false cults um, that are passing themselves off as church and it has nothing to do with church at all. Um, I do want to read quick to you so you can understand the difference. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 26. This is how church should, is supposed to be and this is what God gave uh, through Apostle Paul to give to us. He's talking to you and I right now. This is what we have to go by. See, when you go away from God's Word, you are away from the Lord. So, you may still know the Lord, you may still pray to the Lord, He may still do things for you, but are you where you ought to be? No. You have to be in His Word, not following the crowd, not following these fantastic, sensational uh, stage people they're actually um, they're always prancing back and forth on the stage they've always got the camera on them they're always in the limelight because they are the devil's people now and so you have to know them see you have to know the true brethren from the false brethren that's what we're going to tap on on this show uh, so here's the way church ought to be first Corinthians 14 26 how is it then brethren when you come together Every one of you has a psalm, has a doctrine, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let all things be done into, unto edifying. I'll read that again. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, that's in church, every one of you has a psalm, has a doctrine, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. And you can add to that list. You could say has a prophecy, had a dream, uh, had a healing, uh, etc. And all these things we do in Christ, yes. Uh, used their gifts of every kind, yes. Uh, gave a miracle, whatever it was, yes. So we all bring something to church to share with each other, yes. And that's not what we're seeing. Church, church in America is to sit in a pew and listen to the pastor holler over a mic or say endless, endless nothingness over a mic for 55 minutes and then you're dismissed to go home. So you never know that the lady next to you needed prayer that was dying of cancer or that her, her son in Iraq got killed. You never knew uh, because you never talked to her. There's no fellowship in the church. There's no love in the churches today because they have turned into cults, yes, because they have gotten so far away from the Word. All they have to do is come back to the Word. Then there'll be churches of the Lord and of the Word, yes. So these, you know, where Jesus said, um, ravenous wolves, uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. So that's what these people are. And we have to know, he said, be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. We have to know the true brethren from the false brethren. And if, if you'll read 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, um, you'll see. Those are small books right in the back there. Don't miss that because it shows how to tell uh, the true from the false. So, um the true brethren love the brethren yes we love the brethren we protect uh, the brethren and we make sure that they stay on track yes um we care for them and and we love them yes and we we have the love of christ towards them if they're sick we pray for them if they're uh, do the healings for them in jesus name in mark 16 and we practice our gifts together and we make sure that everybody's okay do these pastors do that for you they do not if you were leaving, if these false pastors, which are actually cult leaders, 
if you were laying half dead in the street, they they'd they walk right by you, yes, or drive their car right by you. They do not care. They do not love the brethren, though. So there is no love of God in them. And it says, in First John, I don't have it right with me right now. Um, that if um, that it, you, the the way you that you know the truth from the false is that the children of God do righteousness. And the children of the devil do not. So, and if you say you love God and hate your brother, you are but a liar and a murderer, it says, yes. So, read John. He's very, very dead on the truth. And you cannot get away from his truth at all. And if once you read that, the Holy Spirit will bring that back to you at the right time. So, please read 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John back there. Um, don't miss those books, please. Um, this would be very easy if you would just read your New Testament and live by your New Testament. By living by the New Testament, first you have to believe it. First you have to believe that that is written for you. There were never any expiration dates on any of those scriptures. And anybody that tells you that they've ceased is a liar. So now, um, we have uh, Ephesians 5.11. Now this is what, there are actually demons and witchcraft in these cults right now. And they're actually not only passing themselves off as church, but actually Holy Spirit filled services. And they are not, they, they couldn't be further from the truth. And you'll see a lot of witchcraft being practiced. We have a church here, a uh, cult, it's actually called, here in, in Kentucky, Independence, Kentucky, called Tommy Bates. And I just heard today, I haven't seen this yet. But a lady told me uh, that he can just walk by a person and barely touch them and they'll fall out in the spirit or blow on them and they'll fall out in the spirit. I knew it was the second that I heard her say that. Now, I do believe there is a true slain in the spirit, but is that it? No. That man is walking around practicing witchcraft, yes. Now, there is a difference. See, they, they copy us. They're copycats is what they are, yes. So you have to know the difference between the true slain and the, and the slain that is not from God, yes. And all you have to do is look at the setup of their services. And those, the services in, in the United States today are rigged to where you cannot buy Satan now. To where you can't, there's no love. You can't turn and talk to your neighbor. You can't share a dream with somebody. You can't, uh, you can't do a miracle. You can barely prophesy or stand up and interpret. And, interpret. and they were set up that way. By the devil's people that and the organizations that uh, 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 caused them to be that that set them all up that way. Yes, it was a set up by the devil. Yes, and it is a set up by Satan to rob you of practicing your Holy Spirit gifts in church, of doing the real Mark 16 healings and castouts in church. Of the which most of those false cult leaders, which call themselves pastors in the church today. In the United States need cast out, yes, because they're so fallen to sin and heresy and everything else and greed and money and mammon and everything else, yes. We have to open our eyes to what is going on around us and see it for what it is, yes. I believe it's going to get way worse than it is. There's going to be so-called miracles coming out of these places and uh, there already is very strong displays of power. If you watch Benny Hinn on there, don't watch him for too long now as he waves his hand. And the whole auditorium, the whole uh, Colosseum on one side, uh, everybody fell over. Now that is a work of Satan, unless it is an actual setup with actors, yes. It is an outright unfruitful works of darkness. Now Ephesians 5, 11. I'll go start at uh, 9 here. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, and having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. He says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm exposing them for what they really are. And you have to know this. You absolutely have to get this if you're going to keep yourself even in one piece physically, spiritually, financially, they will rob you. They will stalk you when you try to get out. They did it to me. 
Um, they'll call the police on you if you try to give them scripture. They'll try to tell you, say you're arguing doctrines with them. And they don't want to hear it. And they'll snarl all up at you and tell you to get out and everything else because it, it's a cult, yes. And, and if you leave, leave quietly for your own sake, yes. Because they will mark you as a troublemaker and they will harass you at your job and everything else, yes. So these are very low down, low life people, yes, that we're talking about here, yes. And don't they look glorious on the stage there with all the cameras on them and prancing around saying all that glorious stuff. But it is absolutely from Satan, yes. Now Paul's trying to tell the Corinthians about this in 2 Corinthians 11. And he's telling us today. Um, 2 Corinthians 11, uh, 13 to 15. <clears throat> For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel. <clears throat> for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. There is, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose ends shall be according to their works. The Lord's going to give them back according to what they did. They're going to get hell. The second that they're judged, they're going to hell. Do you want to go with them? If you don't want to go with them, then the scripture tells us, have nothing to do with him. Yes, some point of the Montashehi, a Santa de and a sample tello, ultimo notoshehi. Second John 9 through 11 was about one one doctrine with uh, the father and son. But I say of these people, if you hang with them too long, especially once you understand what they are doing, then you are also a partaker of their evil doing because you are enabling them. Yes, on just simple noto. Uh, do not do it, said the spirit to Montiasa. I tell you the truth, says the spirit to Montiello. They are the devil's people. Practicing deceit. Avoid them. For all your worth. And just them. Buya sampo monchehea. Or uh, or else death. Domoya santa mu yes a sample buya na sa yi. Shonche mambo ushehi maha. Will come to your soul. Domanyaha. On your sample monchehi. Hang on to the Lord. Just sampo nyeela. O monchehea. Through his word. Domanyeela. O sampo monchehsema do yeye. For all your worth, Buntanya Masa Shemuhu, in these latter times, Shebuye. Okay, so message from the Spirit. So please listen to Shempa Santani and Assemble No Do Matishea. Assemble No Do Masha Sama Dona Masha, Assemble No Do Mania, Assemble Dona Maria, Assemble the Shana Sana Sana Day. No, he's praying for you and he's rooting for you with all he's got yes so we want to obey the spirit yes we want to understand what he's saying and it's all here in the scriptures he told me this morning to give you this yes in a dream yes <clears throat> so this is very 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 serious stuff because these people who work this uh, witchcraft on you can actually kill you and if they don't kill you they you know you can get paralyzed by falling suddenly uh if you hit your head or uh, went backwards or fell in a certain way, you could get a head and neck injury and even paralyzed, yes, go into a coma. And these things do happen in church, yes, a lot. So if you watch 113, I'll tell all about the injuries that I received in these horrible places that are called churches, but they are not. The Lord will tell you so, yes. And also now in this Tommy Bates thing. Now I'm deliberating deep down. I haven't prayed on it yet much, but to go in and actually cast out a Tommy Bates, see, because he's one of them, yes. <clears throat> he is trapping the people with his lies, but it's the people's own fault, and also the teachers like me who were supposed to have taught this who didn't, yes. So, um, so the Lord wants you to know this and know it without a doubt, yes. As I was saying, uh, 13 again, Second Corinthians 13, 11, 13, that is. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, into the leaders of the church, were the apostles, yes. 
and no marvel from the see the leaders of today are called pastors yes but they're supposed to be called apostles yes Basahi. see they have twisted and deleted so much out of there that you can't even uh you can't even hook it up with the word anymore it is so fallen from the word of god yes so fallen so astray from the word yes um and so his whose end will be according to their works so i'm telling you what i'm gonna read this whole thing again um second corinthians um 12 uh, through 15 but what i do that i will do that i may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion that wherein they glory see they're glorying up on the stage they are taking occasion to see if they can practice their witchcraft on you and how it's going to all work out how it'll glorify them that they may be found that they may be found even as we are so they are copying us yes trying to copy us so that the world will think that they, they're like us yes and they are not for such are false apostles uh, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of christ yes so there wasn't any such thing back in the bible days as pastors leading the churches it was the apostles the apostles i believe who led the churches yes so um and no marvel for satan satan himself is transformed into an angel of light see lucifer was an angel of light and he was so beautiful that he took a lot of the angels with him they all started to worship him to where he said then i'll be god yes and i'll i'll be like god or i'll be god yes so they worshiped him instead of god and all of them got sent to hell yes and right now they're in chains awaiting the, the uh, great judgment day yes so and it says that in jude that if he, if he even punished his angels who sinned and he did and he's going to have a day of judgment for them how much more will he punish us who sin yes so th there's judgment on these people who do this yes <clears throat> okay so I, I think you have the hang of it i wanted to tell you um please watch um on youtube watch uh, red alert lucifer's apostate church exposed and watch that and you'll see I hope the light shines so bright inside of you that you never, ever, ever listen or watch these people ever again on TV, ever, yes, because they are, see, they are the ones who are hiding the truth of the word to, from you. Where are their Mark 16 signs? See, where are their casting out of devils? Where are their, their laying on the hands in Jesus' name? Uh, where are their tongues? They don't speak in tongues, and if they do, it's a demonic tongue, yes. I interpreted Kenneth Copeland as praising the Pope instead of God. That's a demonic tongue, yes. So these people are, are absolutely, be, be, it, you know, it is beneath anybody's conscience to use the Word of God for money's sake. Nobody would. We all know that, yes. That's inherent in us to know that, yes. You know, so it is as blasphemous as ripping up a Bible for, for fun. It's just, it's horrible, yes. Nobody would do it. Nobody in their right mind could, no. So you have to um, understand that and uh, just be free of it, yes. Don't go back to them. What I, what the word of encouragement here is that we can start the real church at home, see. Um, the real church uh, and that's in first uh, Corinthians 14 26 this is how church has got to be and Paul was teaching the Corinthians uh, here and he was correcting them and this is God's message to every one of us see your churches don't do this today and they should um, anybody should be free to tell a dream or an interpret give an interpretation of tongues or do a miracle or any of those things that we should be happy to do those and that's what god put in us so why when we meet together which that is not church i'm telling you that see because how could it be you don't even have time to meet the person next to you much less share a miracle of healing or give somebody back his leg or anything like that it's not spirit led because they're not by the word anymore so first corinthians 14 26 paul says and this is god really the spirit of god um, talking through him to us yes how is it then brethren uh, when you come together every one of you has a psalm has a doctrine has a tongue has a revelation has an interpretation 
let all things be done unto edifying and of course you can add to that list you know as you feel the need to if somebody if god did a miracle for you of course you say that yes if he showed you something of course you say that if you uh got a miracle in your family or something happened or a dream of course you you let you let yourself and your neighbors all do that yes because that all glorifies god and everybody benefits from them from it and that is what church is supposed to be now the way they've got it now is it's rigged to where really it's almost deliberately rigged to where there's no no way that the true church can come to exist into existence at all see i can't go in and do my interpretations in church they won't let me because they they want to take the stage they want to take the center of everybody's attention yes see they want you to sit there and you're basically worshiping you end up worshiping them yes and everything that comes out their mouth and everything they do you think is from god but it's not no so those are cult leaders yes and they are children of satan sold and who sold the word of god for money yes so you don't give them a dime if you're in one of those uh, places uh, get out of there so um uh, and how Benny Hinn, and when Benny Hinn waves his hand and they all fall over and all the things that he says and does, they're either outright lies and put-ons or they are actual works of darkness, which we are to avoid, yes. So, um, there you have it. I mean, you have to use your judgment. You have to use a lot of common sense today, you know, and God puts his spirit in you and you can tell, even from a distance, you can tell whether it's for you or not. You know, usually it's pretty obvious you'll get some kind of irky feeling about him. He's too weird. He's too this or that. And it's almost obvious to your spirit, yes. So you don't hang with it. You want to learn to obey your instinct inside of you, yes. And I don't care who, which friend or uh, co-worker comes to you and says, Hey, you want to go to this thing tonight? S say, I don't know what that is. I have to pray about it, yes. Give yourself some space and time to pray about it. Pray to the Lord about it. Say, what do you think about this person? Should I go there? Yes. It is the wisest thing that you can do. Yes. Yeah, it's very true. And um, I might have a part two to this. So um, be watching for it. This is definitely a message from God and the Lord and the Spirit uh, to... Um, make sure that everybody everywhere knows this yes so if you have uh family members that you think may be in one of these mega churches you know the mega churches where you don't get to even meet the pastor and this is why with tommy bates you cannot call him you cannot ask him a question and he says right there on his email that he won't get back to you see they 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 don't love the brethren there's no love of god in them at all no that's just all money making um what do you call racketeering thing yes it's just all for money. It's all for show, yes. And it's all for their own glory, yes. So, they, so how they make it to the top is because they have a few uh, witchcraft type uh, things that they do, like that false slain in the spirit. And I said there is a true slain in the spirit, but it's, it's a different thing, which I'm praying about, yes. But you can get very injured by that. And you have to be very, very careful. Watch 113 and 124 and 106 and 107 to make sure that you stay safe yes um so there you go if i have more i'll come back on uh, with more as the spirit gives to gives it to me thank you for watching um god bless you with maranatha maybe watch for a uh, part two on here and if you have something to add if you have a story of your own definitely you can use as much space below as you want for comments um just let me know where you've been and and what the lord has done to deliver you from these places and and what, what we're supposed to be doing right now. Even while we wait for the rapture, we should still be serving the Lord. But he wants us to read his word and understand it because it's all in there. You know, everything that we need today is in the New Testament. Like these scriptures, we need those right now to protect ourselves and keep ourselves safe. Without these, we can walk in there and get an innocent person, walk a saint in Christ, walk in there and she don't know or he don't know. And get injured for life yes and there's no no help doctors can't do anything you can't sue them they are above and beyond the law and everything else because they're very slick children of the devil yes so please watch the ones i told you to watch um 
uh, I think it's Demons in the Church, and then also uh, Red Alert, Lucifer's Apostate Church Exposed, just to give you an idea of what is actually going on out there, yes. How could God be happy with any of this? See, and he's not. And he, but he gave us his word to protect us from these things, yes. So stay safe, and uh, please do little church groups at home. You know, you can have a church at home. You know, two or more together. It says in Matthew 18, 19 through 21, um, where two or more you are gathered, there I am in the midst of you, the Lord says. So you don't have to do much to get in the presence of the Lord. You just, if you don't have any uh, gifts and signs yet, that's okay. You have your Bible. You can pr you can play your praise CDs and music all you want, the ones that you like, your favorite ones, and put up your pretty flowers, whatever you have there, and bring your kids and everything, and not have to worry about time limits and stuff. Take as long as you want. Relax. You know, and even go outside and uh, play guitar and stuff, whatever you want to do, yes. You've always got your Bible, and you're very welcome to please use my videos during your services, too, yes. Your home church services, yes. You can even print the pages out for the scriptures when I printed them out. When I had that ability, it's not as easy for me now, as you can see. Um, but you can print those out, take them home, put them on your wall to remind you um, of where the Lord is the Lord is showing you uh, to be, yes, and what he wants you to be working on. Yes, good. Remember 2 Corinthians 5.10? Uh, we're all going to be judged, but we can make our judgment day what we want it to be. If we want to receive good from the Lord, we have to do the right thing, yes, in our lives as much as we can, yes. And that's always a goal. You know, do the best you can in your day to follow righteousness, which is just the right way of doing things and holiness. And that gives you, the effect of righteousness is peace. So if you need peace in your life, you need righteousness in your life, yes. And um, read your Bible every day, pray to the Father every day, pray in tongues every day if you have that ability yet. And if not, then just pray and just say, Lord, is this for me? Is this something I should look into? Yes. And you do not have to go running off to a church to receive your tongue. That is not true. No. You do have to get baptized. But you know, do you have to run off to some church to get tongues? No, you don't. Um, and if they if they ever give you tongues, you better call me right away because I got to check it out. <laughs> yes. You may need cast out C because some of the churches even use that in the UPC. Um, the little one that I had in uh, Bellevue there up on the hill in Bellevue that I went to. See, they're giving up. Uh, they're touching people and they're praying in tongues, but it is not from the Holy Spirit. I will not believe that it is um, because there is no Holy Spirit in them. So how could they receive the Holy Spirit without being saved and baptized first and just start talking in an unknown tongue? It's not right. No, it's not. So what is that? It's some kind of... Uh, Work a work of darkness. That's just a bubble boy and a something good. On Chasamon do monashe, I say to you, people, children of God, oh, listen to me, Shatanya Maha. Don't go in a boy on us or something. Don't go into the UPC churches at all. No boy on a side. You could shabu momo momo moya on a side. If you wouldn't walk into a, a satanic church that would, you know, practice all kinds of voodoo and stuff in there, um then you will, should not walk into used PC churches, right? Even on the internet, on YouTube, you have to guard your spirit, yes. You have to be very grown up and mature about these things, yes. So, from the spirit, Be wise, not sorry, shashabuye. Okay, thank you and uh, for watching, and remember, church at home is the safest way, it's the happiest way, it's the most relaxed way, you know, Sunday's the day of the rest, why not get with your friends and family and have church at home on the Sabbath day, which the truth, Sabbath day is really Saturday, but until you can get into the swing of that, then whatever day you worship, good. Sempa Denia Santa Momoya, and as many times during the week as you want to, too, yes. Because, you know, there's a lot to pray about just in our country today. 
um, and in the world today, yes. And, you know, I was talking to a, a girl who I had once uh, judged, and but even, even her, in the midst of her darkness, said to me words that made sense from the Father. She said, she said, you know, we, uh, we need to be praying. We need to be up like we used to at two or three o'clock in the morning in tongues. Yes, because the way things are. And I said, yes, it should be like the men on their faces to the Lord, uh, just in anguish, and the women in fasting and prayer. Yes, and getting up at two or three o'clock in the morning and praying in the tongues. Yes, and praying for the world. Yes. And letting the Holy Spirit pray us, pray us safe and pray these things away from us. Yes, good. She said, and nobody's even talking about what's going on in the news. Yes. It was, we're, we've got a silent panic and terror inside of us. But that's what the Lord, he wants us to know that he has shortened those days already. Yes. We are safe. Yes. And prophecy came to me in 2003. And I wasn't able to give this in church. But I think it's still true for a day. I'm positive it is. Yes. And it went like this. The father wants his daughters to know that they are protected. The father wants his daughters to know that they are protected. On or about 10 months from now, you'll be able, you, you'll begin to see uh, events around the globe. The father wants his daughters to know that they are protected. So, you know, he wants us to know that we're safe with him, yes. And if you didn't get that growing up, you need to fill up on those scriptures for peace and safety now yes and i'll i may get into that because i still do get pretty scared um see i was raised in the catholic church which was very very abusive uh and god was just somebody who would one day send you to hell if you stepped out of line that's all he was yes so um but no he read in psalms and read up on your, your scriptures so in psalms 23 and 91 everybody should memorize them put them up on your wall because it's always always going to be true yes um, Jesus said, my words, uh, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never, will not pass away. And he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. No, not even till the end of time. Yes. So he wants us to understand and believe that. Yes. And we go on and be happy and live full, complete lives and be able to serve him. Yes. On the Bodhana Bosharma. Spirit said, perfect. Okay, there you be. I'll be back on here probably with a part two, so keep watching.